In this edition of Twin World Game Reviews, we'll be taking a look at the Swindle, developed by Size 5 Games and published by Curve Digital. Now, the Swindle is a steampunk cybercrime game where you are a master thief wanting to steal the artificial intelligence system that's being developed by Scotland Yard. This new system is going to be active in 100 days and will basically put you out of a job. And so you've got 100 days to go through and steal as much money from the community as you can to buy, you know, upgrades for your hacking ability, double jumps, bombs, etc. All the tools you're going to need to steal this artificial intelligence system. Now, the levels and the characters are randomly generated so that way you do have a unique experience every time you play through the game and the different levels. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of upgrades to help you out. As I was mentioning, hacking abilities, double and triple jumps, bombs, uh, computer bugs, you've got teleportation, a lot of interesting tools here. The upgrades do transfer between characters, and so that way if you do, and you will, die a lot throughout the game, you don't have to worry about buying your upgrades again. They do, as I said, continue on throughout that whole 100 round swindle. Yeah, and one of the unfortunate things though is that the upgrades don't actually kind of gray themselves out in the upgrade screen if you don't have enough money for them. So you're going to be going through and kind of skimming over all the upgrades, you know, over and over again just to kind of get a, a familiarity on where they all are and to kind of memorize where they are so you know what you're looking for and how much they're going to be costing you. Now, the game itself does look really cool. As you can see, the art looks really nice. Uh, the music as well does help set the atmosphere. And the game does not have a time limit, which is nice when you're going through your heist. So you can spend quite a bit of time, you know, planning and, you know, thinking out how you want to go through each area as you're moving along. Now, the thing though is when you do get noticed by an enemy, that does trigger the alarm for the police. And at that point, you want to get your butt out of there fast. Because the police, they do take a little bit of time to come to the location in the er earlier, or, you know, the, the less payout scenarios. But once you get up to the higher areas, like the casinos and the banks, the police get there fairly quickly. So you definitely want to get your butt out there as fast as you can. Now, some of the issues with the game, though, is that sometimes when you're on the edge of, say, a ledge or something, it won't let you jump. You have to just walk because for whatever reason it doesn't detect you as being on that edge for whatever reason. And so if you're one of those people who try to jump at the very last moment to maximize your distance, that doesn't work in this game because you're going to end up falling because of the fact it doesn't register you jumping. And also as well, when you're doing multiple jumps in the game, and this isn't from your double jump, just normal jumping, there are times where the animation will show as if you're just jumping in midair, you're not actually touching the ground. So it's a graphical glitch, but it's still a glitch nonetheless. There's also issues where if you're trying to disarm a bomb and the bomb's on the stairs, your character slides down the stairs while you're doing the deactivation. And so if you're sliding away from the bomb, then there can be times where you get out of range from being able to hack it, and so you've got to climb back up the stairs and start your hack over again. Or if the bomb's at the bottom of the stairs, you end up sliding onto the bomb and thus getting yourself blown up, which really sucks. There's also an issue where the levels will randomly lock up on you, and so if you're in the middle of doing a level and the game locks up, that level is wasted for the day unfortunately because every time you start a level, this system automatically deducts one day on you. And so yeah, if you're in the middle of playing a level, locks up, then you've lost that one day. Also as well, there is another bug where it, while you're hacking you know, doors and computers and stuff, the game will randomly warp you back to near the beginning of the stage. It doesn't happen often, same with the lockups, but they do happen. And so at that point, you then have to make your way back through the area, get back to where you were, and continue with your hacking. So yeah, really good game. Has a few flaws in it that hopefully get corrected. I would highly recommend it, this game to you know folks who enjoy this type of game. I've been having a lot of fun. I haven't gotten the uh, the swindle yet, haven't completed it, and been working on it. Very hard game, We're having a lot of fun. Definitely give this a 7.5 out of 10, and that's it for this review.